Movie piracy is a big problem in the movie industry, and I'm part of that problem. There are so many barriers they put up between their content and willing consumers, so here's my direct message to these customer-hating companies and how they can improve their services and reduce film piracy. Better accessibility, perhaps on a global scale. Watching movies at home is easier than ever because of streaming services and VOD, so we all thought all of our daily troubles were gone forever. But of course, that only ever applies to the USA. One disconcerting issue with streaming is the differing catalogue of Netflix from country to country. Its full catalogue in its homeland USA is quite different from the one of My Motherland Australia, which is due to international rights and shit. So Netflix should cost less if it has less content, which it does, but hardly to the appropriate degree. The Aussie amount makes up 62% of the US catalogue, yet Aussies pay 89%, 90%, and 92% of the US cost. Stroof! It's just one of many examples of how even a relatively respectable country like Aussie Land is being screwed over. We also don't even have Hulu, and we didn't get Filmstruck, so all the art hounds down under are likely not going to get the Criterion channel either, at least not for a while. And I can hear you screaming at me right now to just get a VPN. That seems to be the Australian thing to do. It would also help me with renting whatever films from Amazon. But fuck even paying a small amount for that. To sum this all up, fuck nationalism. Better distribution. A great man once said, leak screeners equals international release. That great man was me, and he got to see all the hot new films before they even got a proper release. Global film distribution has been trickier in the past with having to ship off spools of heavy and sensitive film reels. But now with digital projection, it can be as easy as sending a hard drive. Hell, they could just send cinemas a Dropbox with the DCP folder in it. Maybe. It's not exactly the reality, but people can still bypass this distribution disparity when they buy DVDs and Blu-rays online when they're available on disc in another country before they're showing in a local cinema. Though movie companies even have a way of screwing around with that by using region codes. No more region codes. For the 82 people on this earth still purchasing physical media, it's never been easier and more accessible thanks to online shopping. But of course, there's got to be something to fuck even that up. Why are region codes still a thing in the year of our law 2019? Companies have enforced them since the VHS days, dividing the world up into region codes, so that each country or region codes distributor ensures they're getting all the local profits they can. But given that consumers are now working on a global scale, so too should the distributors. Region coding has actually faced contention over the decades with the legality of it all. It's a shame this bullshit wasn't outlawed earlier. At least Blu-rays have less region codes than DVDs, but just like rapes, one is too many. Fortunately, 4K Blu-rays don't have region coding, which is good news for the 12 people who buy them. But whenever I've got to download a film because it's DVD that I bought won't work on my player because it's off the wrong region code and I can't be bothered lugging my region free player from my bedroom to the theatre room, I feel like the terrorists have already won. No more unskippable piracy warnings that guilt trip us for doing the right thing. It's not so bad if you can just spam the skip button and quickly get to the main menu, but when they're unskippable, that kind of shit makes me want to go all postal on these DVD companies. There's no other viable good old service that does this to paying customers. If a similar warning was given to customers before buying groceries and they had to stand around like idiots listening to a lecture before shopping, people would be stealing food en masse even if they could afford them. And that's what's happening with physical media. Every time I buy a movie, and it has an unskippable piracy warning, I immediately eject the disc, go back to where I bought it from, get a refund, and torrent the movie. If the 70 people out there still buying physical media want to feel less like condescended jackasses and have more incentive to continue with something so expensive and outdated, then no more anti-piracy wastes of time, no more company logos and idents, because at this point everyone's got the point, and DVDs and Blu-rays should get straight to the point, and by that I mean the main menu. Criterion Collection do just that, everyone else needs to follow suit. I'm trying my best not to be a salesman for torrents right now, but they are a fantastically accessible way of attaining movies and other media forms. Hopefully movie companies will stop screwing around with their consumers, take these points into consideration, and make movie viewing at home as pleasant as a nicely seeded torrent.